Hello. Hello, everybody. Ooh, I turned up my ring light just a little bit, and I feel like now it's maybe a bit too bright. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of face illumination happening. Yeah, let me fix that just a little. Oh. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. I've kind of recognized, I think I need to get another light maybe for this side, because there's a shadow on my face. I don't know. Bayan, thank you so much. Right before I can get my hellos in, I already got a resub. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you four months now. Feels like it's been longer than that. Um, please let me know if there's something I can play for you. I'd love to. Gotta turn on the, the plants. <laughs> oh no, the battery's already dying for this one. I got rechargeable batteries though, so I can just charge it tonight. But I've noticed that I got these as like a together pack, like two sets of wires. But this one tends to drain faster than that one. I don't know why. Welcome in for Tripwire, Joe, TMK, Echo, Speed Bagel, what's up? Or maybe Bagel. That's how I used to say it when I was younger and the lunch ladies used to tease me about it. Matt, I was productive today. Very nice. Finally finished Stray. I'm debating whether I should play that on the game channel or if I should just play it outside of the game channel. I know a couple of you have mentioned that you wanted me to do it. So if enough people want me to do it, I'm happy to. But it's something that's on my radar for sure. I was being productive too, Matt. Um, it's why I was a little late today. Thank you all for understanding. Thursday is my violin lesson day, so I woke up early and I practiced for two hours, then had my lesson, so a good three-hour violin workout, and then I went for a run. I'm trying to get back into running every day if I can. I was doing it for a few months, and then things got so busy with shows that I wasn't able to keep it up, but I'm trying to get back on What's the expression? Get back on the horse? Or some other mode of transport? But two days now. So something. I did my two mile run. Um, then I just had to pick up some prescriptions. Back on the saddle! Ah, I was so close! I was so painfully close. Or yeah, I guess the wagon too. Get that from Minecraft, gotcha. <laughs> Man, I got, I got something in the family, but just not the right words, unfortunately. Back on the Frank. I was just imagining how one would look riding the Frank. I like it. I just needed to take some time to really think about it. Um, welcome in Fast Don't Lie, by the way. How are you? I could just, I could tell I put on a very serious face when I was thinking about that. Um, so yeah, I got everything done that I needed to today. I do find that sometimes on Thursdays I can be a bit like businessy <laughs> right in the beginning of stream because uh, I take my violin lessons very seriously. So I was super focused today and I've made some progress. I had to take last week off as I went on um, the road doing shows and stuff um, but even though I hadn't had a lot of time to practice I didn't want to get used to taking a week off if things were busy, busy so I just practiced well she gave me the suggestion that when things are crazy to just pick one thing and try and get that one thing really really clean so there was one excerpt, a uh, Kreitzer exercise that I focused on, and I did the one piece for, you know, two hours today and touched on it every minute I could this week. And the good news was she did uh, say that she saw progress, but um, 
you know, we're gonna not add anything new this week and just make sure I make the corrections I need to. So I'm proud of myself. I'm happy that I did it. Feels good to get the exercise in again. I really need to go grocery shopping. Since I've been traveling so much, it's hard to feel like I need to fill up the fridge as I'm never here to use the fridge. But anyway. Echoes, uh, I played the violin when I was little, but I quit and I picked it up again 12 years ago. Oh, wow, Wonder Shirley. Thank you for a raid, what's up? I haven't played a single note yet, so won't this be exciting? We're gonna see, see how that goes for me. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of improv to get going, but if there's something I can play for you after the song, please let me know. I'm just gonna play some smooth, simple improv to get going. I hope you like it. too flashy just getting going I was just saying how on Thursdays uh, that's the day I have my violin lesson so I feel like I started stream super focused today just trying to make sure I'm getting things sounding how they should but I feel like I was managed to get um, a good amount of practice in, even though I've been super busy lately with shows and stuff. I'm happy to see that I have made some progress. She was happy with what I did manage to get done. I have a goal set for next week, and I feel like it's stuff that I can confidently do. I just have to try and set aside at least an hour and a half every day. If I had it my way, I'd try to get like three to four hours of violin playing for practice every day. I don't count stream as practice. It's practice in like a different regard. I think it's more of practicing like performance and delivery and things like that. But um, when I do practice practice, that's like when you do those like two notes over and over uh, with that metronome and increase the metronome one at a time, which is painful, but rewarding. See you for Wonder Truly. Thank you again so much for the raid. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, uh oh. <laughs> oh no. I tried to open up. Dang it. I, I just gotta refresh the page. Sorry, I can't see chat right now. <laughs> I tried to open up like 
the little deets. It doesn't matter. It's coming back. I'm coming back. It's okay. What songs can I pick for my requests? I don't know what to pick. Uh, do you know? Here's the song list, Ben. If if you just see anything on there, you can ask or put the name of the song in chat for me or the mods, and we'll put it in. I see Raisin. That was like literally the first thing I could see once I had the chat reloaded. So you're you're not. Haha. -ha. Treated myself, got some iced coffee on my chores, got all the stuff picked up I needed to, prescriptions were all good. And I was thinking that for today, I'm trying to purposely pick loops I haven't done for a bit and just go in with an open mind of creativity. I'm going to try and do some improv loops today too. I'm trying to listen to feedback from chat and a lot of you guys say that you like watching me figure things out rather than just, you know, deliver a clean performance back to back when I can get a clean performance. So I'm going to try and unleash some more creativity and just go for it a bit. Yes, now I can see. So be on your best behavior. Or not, as long as it's PG, you're, you're fine. Or not mean. Hey Chris, how are you? It's good to see you. Let's see. Do I want to start with Final Fantasy or something else? Final Fantasy is just comfy. I do not play the cello. Yet, I'd like to think maybe someday I can give it a go. Not that I think I'll ever become, like, great at it, but I would love to, you know, become familiar enough with it where I could add basic lower registers on my recordings. Like, maybe just do first and third and fifth position okay. Jose, welcome in. How are you? And Slider, my gig was... Oh my god, I can't even keep him straight. Uh, Tuesday evening. And that went really well. It was much later than I thought it would be. Uh, I thought I was going to be playing at 7.30, and I ended up playing closer to like 10, like 9.45, 10. So it was a long evening, but that long evening was filled with meeting a lot of new musicians that I haven't met around Nashville before. And everyone was so nice and supportive of each other, really listening to the, you know, the words of each song and trying to connect with each uh, songwriter. It was it was a really good experience, but another long evening. Yesterday was just my teaching day uh, and practice, practice, practice. First and fourth are going to be your key positions. Oh, interesting. For violin, uh, the key positions, I mean, you already know this tripwire, are really one, three, and five. So I kind of just assumed it was the same for cello, but one and four. I guess that makes sense for like the finger spread is if you're replacing that fourth finger, it would be pretty evened out that way. I see I have a piano. Uh, my mother always told me once you learn and master the piano, you can learn any other instrument. To be honest, Echoes, I agree with uh, her. The piano, I've talked about this before, but I'm getting a bit teachery now. Um, there's three parts of music to think about when you are putting, let's say, a song together from scratch. There's rhythm, melody, and harmony. And piano is like the only instrument that pretty equally covers all three of those territories. You get to do melody. There we go. Uh, you get to do your chords. And then you can do them in rhythmic ways where you can match like a drum or a bass. Um, so I would agree. Also, when it comes to music theory, you can see it so easily on the piano that I recommend every musician learn just a little bit of um, a little bit of piano. Oh, yeah, for echoes. It's got all three, baby. Visually, it is really helpful, yeah. For Foxy, 
in college when I had my music theory tests, I used to draw a piano on the top of my tests. And my teacher was so funny. Uh, she was like, I mean, you're not cheating, but I feel like you should try and do it without drawing a piano. And I'm like, oh, it just makes it so much easier. She's like, yeah, you're fine. Like, I'm not going to mark you off, but I encourage you to not do that. <laughs> but I got really good at drawing pianos, so there's that. Atsuba Hero, welcome back. It's good to see you. All right. I would like to start today with a classic Starter Joe piece, Eyes on Me, and we'll go from there. Oh, for Foxy, do you use fixed dough or movable dough? I find that conversation to be so fascinating. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I can give you just a basic explanation. Um, for, f you know, you know how you've heard when you learn how to sing a scale, you do do, re, mi, fa, so? So fixed do is when, is it C is always do? Like this note is always do. No matter what. So even if I do a D major scale, I would say that is like re, mi, fa, or fi as you go up. Movable dough it means that I can move depending on whatever scale it is and make the first note do rather than C always being do. I don't know if that made sense. Um, but in college at Berkeley, we learned movable dough, but I know a lot of classical musicians learn fixed dough. Yeah, movable. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I actually don't know the words to eyes on me. I can look into it, maybe. I feel like the Japanese translation to English sometimes, like for the Final Fantasy songs, can sound a little funny, like in English. If I could sing in Japanese, I would do that. That would be awesome. But uh -uh. Maybe if I get my Renoa cosplay out again. Thank you, Chris. That's very sweet.
Oh, I see we have a priority request. I'm guessing this is for Ban. Yeah. You asked for a thousand years. That song has been quite popular lately. Normally, I would be like, oh, let me do a couple more songs, get warmed up. But I actually think a thousand years would be really pretty after Eyes on Me. Like if this was a set list, I think that would make sense. So we are going to just go right into it, especially since I've warmed up already so much today. Here we go. I hope everyone's having a nice day so far. I know we're almost near the end of the week here. You got this just a little bit more. Uh, this weekend, I have a show where I am playing a pride festival. I'm very excited about that with Fable Cry. I was supposed to have a recording session tonight, but it got rescheduled. And I'm honestly really grateful for that. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm managing everything fairly well, but it's just been very, very busy. August and September can be really busy months for a musician, just because there's so much like outdoor festivals and events happening. Um, which is awesome. I've been able to do lots of stuff I haven't been able to do in the last few years. I got to like go to a lot of outdoor festivals and creative ones, music ones, get fair food, do a bunch of stuff like that, which has been awesome. I had to remember how to do it though. <laughs> uh, Mark, thank you for 100 bits. Thank you. Nice to be returning to normal. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you know, I'm just learning how to keep both of these things going with Twitch and my live performances. I don't think I'm always going to be performing every weekend. It's just been kind of like a really busy two months, but I'm going to make sure I always find a way to make it work, but it's been my first time trying to balance the two and luckily it's been going fairly well. I could use a little more sleep though. <laughs> well, you guys make that part possible, Mark. If I had to balance in another job on top of this, I don't think I'd be able to do all three of them, but you guys give me the possibility to get to do music all day, all the time, so thank you. Let's see, Lipty Dude, welcome. I'm noticing a bit of tension in my arm from playing a lot today, so I'm just giving myself a little stretch. Always good to stretch. Let's see. I know this looks kind of funny, but it feels really good. Okay. A thousand years for band. template. This is one that I do pre-record the guitar for um, and then I'm just going to layer strings on top of it and then do piano as well. The edges on the sleeves. Aren't they kind of fun? And it matches the bottom too. It's kind of like what would be a crop top but it's lacy there. One of my thrifting finds, of course, Poshmark. I buy all my clothes used, basically, because it's a better price, and it's better for the environment. You can also find some pretty fun, funky stuff. And I'm supporter of the fun and funky. Okay. So for this, I need to set my pedals for one, two. Huh? Something went wrong. One, two, there we go. Great. I feel like I've used that uh, definition of funky as well. <laughs> At least for myself. I think I'm ready to go. 
For this one, I still haven't really settled on a particular arrangement of it, so I'm just gonna follow my heart and lay these strings down in a way that feels good. I think the biggest thing I'm trying to... Not the biggest thing. Like, each time I do this song, I try to think of a correction, right? So I think I need to leave more space in between the string parts so that they come in and out a bit more. Um, Zidia Art, thank you so much for saying that, and the follow, as well as Ned's Mahat and Neon Jax and Kevin, if you're still here, I'm very late to say thank you for those. I apologize, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you. I can be the funkiest. Oh, yeah. Are we not all a little funky at times? Oops. <laughs> all right, let's see. Not too much reverb. I always forget to reset my faders. <laughs>
died every day waiting for you Darling, don't be afraid I have loved you for a thousand years I love you for a thousand years Time stands still Beauty in all she is I will be brave Thank you for a sub. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I'd like to do a little violin solo. guys I've been trying um, to be a bit braver with my singing lately thank you for Matt for a hundred bits thank you so much I know I look funny when I sing but I can't really help it <laughs> it's just what my face wants to do but um, I've been going back to some of the vocal training exercises that I had when I was studying at school and oh my lady and 
really watching myself in the mirror while I sing to make sure that I'm using the right muscles essentially in my face and I'm not pulling it back. I tend to pull it back a little bit is I get self-conscious. So I'm trying to overcome that and looking in the mirror while I've been doing it has been helpful, but admittedly very vulnerable feeling. It's very, I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. But especially uh, being a teacher myself, I feel like if I watch myself both when I practice any instrument, really, it's easier to make corrections while you do it, even if it makes you really uncomfortable. Oh, we do have a, oh man, yeah, we have a hype train. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Kingy, for a brand new sub and for Ice Bites for a sub just now. Thank you. Thank you for the uplifting tunes as always. Thank you, Ice Bites. Uh, please let me know if I can play either of you a priority request to say thank you. I'll put the song list in chat. Um... Since that was a bit of a romantic song, I kind of want to keep the sweetness up and do... <laughs> Smith, thank you for the bit. Headshot, thank you for the follow. Oh, you guys, look at all these things happening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I would like to do another loop for you. And what I would like to do next would be First Day of My Life. Um, Connor Oberst, Bright Eyes. I think that would be a nice little one to do after this last song. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate this. Just little tunes while I get set up. Uh, this is a loop I have to do from scratch, so I just need to make sure I get everything I need out first. I know my energy, sometimes I can be very silly on stream and excited and I've kind of been every emotion on stream. I hope I don't seem too like businessy today. I feel very like composed and just ready to make music for today. But I guess I was overthinking it and I was like, I hope I don't seem like super bland right now. I'm just chill. Lim, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much for this hype train, everybody. Thank you. we go okay so I got that set up we got buttronome I'm syncing it up with Bluetooth to Ableton now now no I have to restart my phone bummer dude but that will just take a second um for Smith I do a 500 bit minimum for priority requests, but I haven't done to Xanarkin for a bit, so I can do it for you. Um, but I am gonna do uh, my pick first. But for anyone who's new, uh, the way I've been doing song requests is I just ask if you do anything to support the channel, then I'll play you a song from my list. And I have a pretty big list. If anyone wants to check it out, I'll put it in chat. Um, so, Hoagie and Jerry, thank you so much. Hoagie, thank you for gifting three subs. Thank you so much. And congrats on getting back into the running game again. I saw that in the Discord. We both had the fire going at the same time, I guess. And Jerry, thank you so much for a resub. That also gives you a priority request. So please let me know if there's something I can play for you to say thank you. Uh, we got a level two hype train, y'all. Thank you so much. Oh. Metronome went crazy. We were at like 200, so we're definitely slowing that down. You need to do that this evening? You got it. That channel has helped. It's helped me a lot, too. Um... For anyone curious as to what we're talking about, uh, I made a section in Discord called Weekly Goals. I keep forgetting I need to fix that. Um, where I encourage people that if they have anything on their mind that they've just been wanting to get done, to put it in Weekly Goals and then it gives you motivation to get it done. 
So for me, I've been running every, well, I used to run every day. I'm trying to get back into it. <laughs> but it's basically a place to help you figure out what your goal is going to be that's going to make you feel better, whether it's clean in your room, cooking a new recipe, you know, anything like that. It helps me a lot to write that stuff down, so that's why I put it in the Discord to help me keep, uh, stay motivated for working out. And I invited anyone else who wanted to be on that journey with me. Sardo Numsy, thank you so much for a resub. Thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. Um, please let me know if there's something I can play for you, Sardo. Signed up to run a 5K next month. Ah, oh, now I feel like I should make that my weekly goal to find one to do. Washing dishes is a great one. <laughs> so let's see, and then tap my tempo. This is the first day of my life. I feel like this has a bit more of a push to it. Kane, thank you for a thousand bits. Y'all are making this hype train starting to really go somewhere. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Kane, oh my God, and Wonton, thank you for a brand new sub. Y'all, what's going on? This is awesome. Thank you. Get me all excited. I really appreciate it. Thank you. One, two, three. Uh, for Wonton, please let me know if I can play you something. JT Foxy, thank you for gifting five subs. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, you guys. You've unleashed the Franks. Look at them go. So beautiful. It's like one of the opening sequences from The Lion King. We're on to level three hype train. Thank you guys so much. I've up the difficulties on middle too, so it doesn't get too high very often. And if you guys get past level five, I'll show you something from my shame closet where I put a bunch of stuff that should be put away by now. I cleaned it out like a year ago, but it's full again, so. My bad. Two, three. The shame, the closet of shame. One, two. Oh, I don't usually finger pick this. I feel like I usually do like a... Shame does refill every few months, you know? One, two, three. <laughs> I can't reach the pedal while my strap's like this. So I'm going to leave a bit of space and then crop it, <laughs> but it works just the same, so that's good. Okay, now we need uh, the chorus section. Thank you, Tripwire, for the bits. Thank you guys so much.
these things there's no time we just have to waste working for a paycheck and waiting to win the line Is the first face that I saw. I think I was blind before I met you. Now I don't know where I am, I don't know where I've been, but I know where I want to go. So I thought I'd let you know. But these things take forever, I especially am so. But I realized that I need you And I was wondering if I could come home I remember the time you drove all night Just to meet me in the morning And I thought it was strange You said everything changed You felt as if you just woke up and you said this is the first day of my life i'm glad i didn't die before i met you but now i don't care i could go anywhere with you and i'd probably be happy so if you want to be with me with these things, there's no time, I just have to wait and see. But I'd rather be working for the paycheck than waiting to win the lottery. I, I, I. Besides, maybe this time it's different. I mean, I really think you like me.
This is the first day of my life I'm glad I didn't die before I met you Now I don't care, I could go anywhere with you And I'd probably be happy So if you wanna be with me With these things there's no time We just have to wait and see But I'd rather be working for the paycheck Than waiting to win the love Maybe this time it's different I mean I really think you like Me Y'all Thank you so much for Justarius the Red For subbing three months in advance Thank you so, so much I promise I'm going to do my very best to make sure that those three months I'm always working hard and bringing new stuff to the table. I have some new arrangements I'm working on for looping that I'm excited to show you guys. And I've just been pushing myself in general to pursue looping a bit harder. There was a, there was a time where I was a, kind of avoiding it for a bit is I got nervous doing it and I just, you know, was going through some self-doubt and, um, you know, kind of lost a bit of confidence, but I actively have been sitting down and kind of pushing myself with the confidence and be like, come on, girl, just go for it. Even if you're not sure if it's going to turn out how you want it to, just, just keep trying. And since I've been doing that, I've been starting to feel a lot better with making my loops. Um, thank you guys so much for that hype train. Thank you so, so much. Uh, once again for Justarius, and please let me know if there's something I can play for you to say thank you. And for anyone who might be new, hi, my name's Joe. I do in fact play violin, and I make loops, and I play video game music. So we've done two loops now back to back. Why don't I do like two or three video game music pieces for you, and then I'll just continue from there. Um, thank you so, oh, my lady. I didn't have it open. I don't know if I got it in time. Uh, I watched a couple of streams and enjoy having this on in the background while I'm working. You're very talented. Looking forward to three more months. Thank you so much to Sirius. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Welcome in Keldon, by the way, and Daniel, how are you? Thank you for the bits. You're the best, Daniel. Let's see. After doing these kind of lovey pieces, I'm going to go for some softer video game pieces to kind of provide what feels like a nice little set. Um... Let's do Zelda's Lullaby next. For being such a cornerstone piece of video game music, I don't think I do it very often. And after that, why don't I do one of my newer transcriptions? I think it's in this pile. Oh, I totally forgot about all of these. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna do Zelda's Lullaby and then the Wolven storm priscilla song from the witcher i think that would be very nice it's hard out to fade out on that one because i love that song so much the costume mock-ups i made for you i i checked that the the costume section of discord the other day but i don't i remember mostly seeing that pencils put in uh professor eggman from sonic so Wow, what a strong suggestion that was. There's a tab in Discord for uh, September cosplay suggestions. I said if we hit the sub goal, I will do a cosplay for you guys. Last year I did a sub goal and we hit it and I was Aerith for you, uh, you guys and I had so much fun. Oh my God, Daniel, I just saw it. Oh my God. So we have suggestions for Samus. Um, 
which I would love to be Samus, honestly. Uh, people have suggested Tifa. I see a suggestion for Kirby here. A violin. Mega Man. Oh, Sephiroth? That could be so sick if I did like a female version. Or the L block from Tetris. Wow. So I was going to, if we hit the halfway point with the sub goal, I'm also a little off center here. There, that's a bit better. Um, if we hit the halfway point for the sub goal, what we're going to do is do a poll and put three options and you guys can pick what you want me to be. Um, so I'll probably pick out of the suggestions some that I think I will be able to put together um, or things that, quite frankly, I'll enjoy. Um, I think Sephiroth would be really cool. That's a fun suggestion. I like Samus. Uh, the one I threw in was Sheik, which I thought could be kind of cool. Uh, you guys brought up Tifa, but I'm so open to more suggestions. Sephiroth! <laughs> Then I'd have to learn One Winged Angel finally. Let's see. So, this particular version of Zelda's Lullaby um, is a remix done by one of my favorite remixers, Juke Remix. So, I highly recommend you checking them out if you like what you hear. I'll put their link in chat. Um, for Mixilbin in Discord, there's on the side a September cosplay as its own category, and that's where you can put some in. Master Belch from Earthbound. Is that a, I've never played Earthbound. Is that a thing? I'm Googling it right now. Master Belch. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. It just looks like a pile of, like, cat vomit. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. That's... I'm thinking about how I do that, and it's, uh, it's an image. I had a tiny hair tickling my lip and it was I wanted to scratch it so bad that whole time but I don't like interrupting the music once I start so I was like ah oh, just power through it you're not itchy you're not itchy I was itchy 
Well, what's up? It's always good to see you. How are you doing today? I'm going to do one more kind of slow piece, and then I'll start building up our energy here. But I know that people will really enjoy this one. Um, hey, Warson, welcome back. Thank you for another thousand bits. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. Thank you. I noticed that you're Warriston 2. Are you resentful of Warriston 1? Have you guys met? And if you do meet, will it be like an epic standoff or will it be like a mutual respect? I'm very curious. I'm exhausted from traveling for four hours and having a photo shoot. Uh, you are getting ready for an album release is that right for will with your band where was your photo shoot uh i just did a photo shoot with one of the bands i play for and it was kind of a funny story but what i want to know what your shoot was first thank you for the follows by the way from um cam and from fitness uh let's see Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. Hoagie Man Zero to 4999. Oh, he's back into running and now he's unstoppable. <laughs> Do you guys have... I guess I'll open this to like general chat, but if you have numbers in your name, was there like a reason why you picked that number in particular? Or was another number taken and you were like, no. I can't remember my password divorce and I don't have the phone for the password recovery and I'm lazy. That sounds like an epic backstory where it's like, I'm, I'm the new form of my old self, but they still haunt me. Anyway, here's the Wolven Storm from uh, The Witcher 3. Thank you. 
The Goomba Goon, you caught me off guard there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for gifting five subs. That's super, super generous. Thank you very much. And please let me know if I can play you a song as a priority request. Um, I'll put the song list in chat if you see anything that you like. Oop, exclamation point, not Q. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Um, it was kind of fun seeing how some of you guys got your names. I was reading a little bit while I was playing a part of the music that I didn't need to like read. Um, let's see. Will Fox belong to a dead account? So I used my partner manipulation to have Twitch give it to me. Interesting. If I could get, um, for my like Twitch name, if I could pick. I'd actually really just want it to be Joe, just J-O, but you can't have a two-word or two-letter account name, but I really wanted it. I feel like that would just be so satisfying, it's Joe, but alas, also Jojo that it's your birth year, that's interesting. Joe, that would probably be a bad idea, right, for marketing? Is people wouldn't know how many O's. J-O. These are creative solutions, and I hate all of them. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, no, I mean, I'm serious, but I, I would have said it in a nicer way. I was wondering if that was a new song just recently added to the song list. Yeah, I get, I get shy with singing still believe it or not uh worsten thank you for gifting a sub thank you so much thank you and goomba goon you asked for guar plane from xenoblade chronicles you got it i love playing over the xenoblade chronicles soundtrack it's so well orchestrated and so pretty and this is actually one of my brand new transcriptions so it's nice i think i've only done this like once before on stream hopefully i can handle it I think I'll be okay. But Thank you again, everybody, so much for the, all the support today. I, I'm feeling really happy. I've been feeling really good on Twitch lately. Like, don't get me wrong. I've always felt really good on Twitch, as is why I've built this to this point and continue to do it. But there was a while, I guess, where I, I was really doubting myself and I got kind of scared more often. But I'm, I feel like I'm starting to restore some balance. Um, this next song is for Goomba Goon. Thank you very much again for the five gifted subs. And I hope you like this song. <laughs> Oh my god! 
Morrison, you are a legend. Oh my goodness. Thank you for 10,000 bits and gifting three months to Goomba Goon. Thank you so, so much. I really can't say it enough. I hope I don't sound super annoying. I'm just really grateful. Thank you. Um, welcome in Loki. How are you? A favorite scale I like to play on. I really like A minor. I like A minor because uh, you get to build on the open strings really easily if you do a double stop on G and D. Like this. You just get like a lot of fun opportunity to play with open strings and get a lot of resonant tones on the violin with A minor. So I really like A minor or D minor. Most minors, I just like minor keys. <laughs> with the violin, they sound so dramatic. And on that note, why don't I try and do an improv loop for you guys where I just make something up? Uh, I always get very shy to do these, but I'm trying to overcome that. So we're going to make a chord progression. I don't have a plan yet. I'm just kind of going for it. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, Holland, thank you. Let's see. Yay, I'm happy you're here for this talk. Maybe you can help me. I'm doing it in A minor. So I'm going to go to the piano first and try and make a little chord progression that I like. Um, hey, for FM, how are you? Someone also asked if I dyed my hair recently. No, it's still the... I put some highlights in it like six months ago. It's getting really long, though. I haven't had it cut for at least six months. So I actually scheduled an appointment to get it in. I might go back to a darker color with like a, just only a little bit of highlight in it for the fall. I'm not sure yet. I play the trumpet and the recorder. I love the trumpet, especially like with the mute in that 20s style. So, Atean, thank you. I've been reading the comments and I keep seeing that people like when I do the improv requests. So I'm like, I got to keep pushing myself to do these, even though it makes me kind of nervous. So one thing I like to do before I start sometimes is think about what chords are available in that key. So if I do A minor, I got A minor, a B diminished, C major, D minor, E minor or major, if I want that five, F major, G major, back to A. So maybe... <laughs> That's just sweet dreams are made of these. So that will be all I can think of if I do that. We can't have that. to do hmm. there was a chord progression I was playing through the other day um, that had like a chromatic thing going down going to the five is too obvious I've done a couple collabs with other music uh, streamers. I did one a long time ago with 88-Bit Music, and then I did one with Fish in a Birdcage, but I'd love to do more. Hmm. 
sometimes if I just change the tone, it helps me. I have sweet dreams are made of these stuck in my head now, so I need to like do something different. To a D minor? Nah, maybe to a C major? I kind of like that, simple. simple but I think that's kind of nice so I'm doing for anyone who wants to play along A minor C major G F G back to A minor but now is the question what instrument should I start on to D minor the second time around. So, okay, we got like A to the C major down the G F to the G back to A minor going up to C F to D minor get us back i don't know how much i necessarily like it but let's just start uh building from there and just see what happens i think i'm gonna start with the violin and i'll do four four cool Opening up my metronome app, making sure we're synced up, and it looks like we Oh my gosh, Warson, you are wild. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've been so giving. Thank you so much. Uh Marcus Vetro or Vetri? I'll copy the name and make sure I give a follow to catch in. Doc, I have the tab still open of Master Belch, which is quite amusing. Thank you for making that possible. Um, I just have to restart my phone once again to get it synced up, which made me a little nervous. <laughs> but hopefully it will go fast. This is another Xenobladed song that I learned. I followed Marcus to make sure I can drop by and check them out. Pianist, beatboxer, looper, and really bad singer. <laughs> Love it. That's what he said, not me. That's in his about me, by the way. Don't you misquote me. Okay. I just have to let this turn on again. Looks like we're in. Oh my God, you've released the blues. That's my cat and that's me riding my cat. Um, the Goomba Goon, oh my God. The two of you are making me at a loss for words. Uh, 
Thank you so much, Goomba Goon, for 20 gifted subs. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god, yeah, the stream anniversary. I've forgotten everything happening. No, okay, so stream anniversary. Stream averse. I'm sorry, I'm I'm a little flustered. Uh stream anniversary for my three years being on Twitch is actually this Sunday. I don't know if I'm gonna do an extra stream Sunday or just uh do a big celebration Monday. I might just do a big celebration Monday. Um Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, Goomba Goon. This cosplay might be happening after all. Warrison. Ah! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. You released the Balukaris once again. I'm actually shocked he's not yelling at me right now. Baloo. Uh, my cat. I've already said that. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Uh, oh my goodness. Um. Okay. Focus. I could do this. Butronome on placed on butt. Uh, I kind of want to go like that, 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 that. So the chord progression I was doing is A minor C G F G A minor C G no A minor C D minor E major. I promise I'll check out Marcus for sure for Warrison. Thank you again. The Balukaris have gone wild. Okay, let's give this a go. You kick drum. I don't need you right now. Okay. I had a squeak. I had a squeaker. Not a fart. A violin squeak. <laughs>
Um, Warston and Deltry, thank you for a brand new sub. Thank you guys so much. Of uh, Phil Normandy, thank you guys. Thank you. I'm just trying to make up an improv loop now, and I, I hope I come up with something you like. Piano's plugged in, damn it. <laughs> when I do that, it mutes my mic, so it can't record. Okay, I got it, I got it. Maybe I should start with the bass notes anyway. One, two, three. Wait. It said D minor, two.
happy I went for it, but I felt like I couldn't quite find my footing. I wasn't sure really what I wanted to do with it. Um, thank you so much again for Deltry for that brand new sub. Thank you and Warriston and everybody so much. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Let's see. I did see that we had a priority request added. And you asked for Aerith's theme. I can totally do that. Also saw that Andrew's in chat. Kind of a fun, fun little bit of uh, info. I don't know how to preface this. I'm trying to say Andrew is actually guesting with my band Creature Comfort that I play for. Because our typical drummer can't do a weekend of shows. So Andrew's going to be joining us. Which means a lot of rehearsal next week. I feel like my life is just rehearsal lately. But hey, that's a pretty good thing. I'm really sorry, Warriston, but I actually don't have Megalovania. I, like, wrote out the music once, but I just never felt really inspired to, like, do anything with it. And I'm, I'm so particular about the songs I play. I feel like I can only play something if like my heart's in it. Now, I will say I had an idea where there is room for Megalovania maybe happening one day on the song list. I heard a lo-fi remix of it slowed down and it was so cool and grooving where I was like, oh man, I want to do something like that. So that could be on the horizon, but... It's like, uh, I don't know. So maybe in the future at some point, but I don't know. I, I guess I saw so many versions of it with like a really good violinist that I was like, man, the world doesn't need me playing this. There's already so many good players doing it. So I'm sorry, Warrison. I wish I could for you, but I just don't have it. Um, Thank you, Doc. I appreciate that. I'm trying my hardest to be braver with those improv things. Sometimes I super feel it and then sometimes I get like really nervous. Um, for Deltry and your brand new sub, you asked for Aerith's theme. So this one's for you and I hope you like it. Thanks again, Doc.
man, that song always makes me really sentimental about Twitch specifically because it was one of like my first pieces I added to my song list. And I remember being so excited building that song list. It's kind of crazy thinking back to like a point where it, it used to only be zero or where it started from zero songs. That's so weird for me to think about. Yeah, I became so in like in love with adding songs to the song lists and just pushing myself to find new songs that I could connect with and be able to put together and in a way that felt like me and 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 push myself and it's it's been really nice to just see what it's all turned into. Um, I hear it and I think of you now. Oh my gosh, that's like an honor. If it's Aerith scene, one of the most important pieces of video game music. Uh, Warson, I feel so bad that I can't play the song you asked for, especially when you've been so generous. I'm really sorry. Um, if there's anything else on my list, though, I'd love to play for you. Oh my gosh, Dragonfire, you're way too kind. Um, thank you for Deltry for that sub. I really appreciate it. The subs are what keep me able to keep this as my, my thing, so thank you guys. Zen Monkey, I'm glad you liked it, and Sky Crane, Gatos for me. Um, I usually take a break at 5.30 to feed my cat. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit early today, just because I need to use the restroom. And I saw I had a message that I need to check real quick about band stuff. I want to play the new music video for you guys, but I'm afraid I might need a little more time than what the music video is. So I think I'm just going to put on, like, background music. I'm also worried that I'm just going to make you guys get sick of my new music video. Uh, on my YouTube channel, I recorded my arrangement of, um, of Duran Duran's The Chauffeur and just put it up on my YouTube channel, Joe Cleary. It would mean the absolute world to me if you'd consider going over and checking it out, maybe giving the channel a sub and the video a like if, if you feel so inclined. Um, but I think for now, I'm just going to put on music. If I do a second break, I'll probably put the, the video on. A Nod Digits and Dark Soul Ramon and Rinver. Oh my gosh, where are all these follows coming from just now? Thank you, all of you, for these follows. Thank you. Or you know what? Let's just do their new video. I'm so proud of the damn thing. I'll try and run upstairs before it is over. Thank you guys for the follows. This is my brand new video, and I hope you like it. Yeah. 
Believe it or not, Sniper, um, the gloves worked. I, since they were mesh, parts of like, sounds weird, my skin were popping through so I could still make the contact. The bass was a little buzzy, um, but it did work for the guitar fairly well. It was extremely uncomfortable, though, if I'm being honest. Oh, it like it felt like I was just digging in these deep lines into my fingers it hurt um but for art moss thank you for i see that you converted from prime to tier one sub thank you um but all you guys i had a moment like when i got back and sat down to watch that oh yeah for zen i recorded everything that you heard in that song i played the keys, the bass, the guitar, the violin, the penny whistle, uh, drums. Well, I have a kick drum down here. And I did uh, electronic drums. I'm trying to think if I added anything else on that. I think that was it. Thank you, Sniper. I, I worked really hard on that one and I made the video a goal of mine in particularly to focus on my confidence because I had I feel like I shouldn't talk about it as much as I do I feel like I should act more strong on stream um, but I've been having a lot of issues with my confidence um, oh my god wait FM you said you're getting to see 311 in concert Andrew are you here still that's like Andrew's favorite band um, but I made that video a, a focus for me to really work on my confidence because that song has a lot of like confidence. It's, it's a, a sensual, dark, like really strong piece of music and filming it, I really had to channel in this belief that I looked good and that I sounded good and that I, I could do it. But there's hours of footage of me doing the vocal takes in particular and looking so scared. And I just kept watching it back every couple takes and took note of things. Like I, I, you know, would notice that my eyes were darting around too much, which I tend to do in general. So I was like, okay, you're, I put tape on the wall and I was like, you look here and you look here. Those are the only two places you're allowed to look. And that helped. Um, and then I did some silly things that actually helped a lot. Like I looked up uh, <laughs> how to videos for voguing like, uh, you know, like the arm movements. And I just watched, uh, you know, these people moving confidently and I'd copy them. And I, I spent days and days, I spent weeks on it. Um, and looking back on the video, I, 
I'm so proud of myself. I'm like, who is that? That's not me. <laughs> so it feels really good on the other side of it. Um, and I'm making sure that I keep that going with my next videos. I'm going to try my hardest to do a video every single month on my YouTube channel. And I'm, I'm really trying to grow the YouTube channel. So again, I hope you guys consider following it and sticking around to see what else I can do. The material I have on this channel at this point, I have over nine hours of music. So I want to put all those hours of music on YouTube too and to make artistic, um, you know, videos and concepts for everyone. Thank you um, so much for Zen for the follow. And yes, I do like Rio. Let's see. I think after listening to a more energetic loop, maybe I should try and do a more energetic loop live now. Keep that going. So I'm gonna look at what I got here. Oh, I should also look at my queue to see if I have any priority requests up there. There we go. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Andrew? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Engineer. Thank you so much for a resub. Thank you. At tier two. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please let me know if there's something I can play for you as a priority request. I would love to. Um, thank you guys so much. I also saw uh, for Prof, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming in. What hope do we have? I think everyone has a bit of confidence issues, right? Being on Twitch, though, I will say help me confront it because I would watch, you know, clips back of myself. I have all this footage of myself, so I kept trying to make myself watch it to see what I could, you know, improve on. And uh, it was hard looking back at it at first. Not to act like what I do is that hard. I, I. I know a lot of the jobs you guys have is so much harder than what I do, but it's uh, just something I noticed from doing this and what I've learned from doing this. But it's been really good for me and it's helped me grow a lot and I'm really grateful for that. Let's see here. I'm looking at some of the loops I have. And I think I'd like to do, let's do Subterranean Homesick Alien. I haven't done that one for a bit. Some Radiohead. I'm trying to decide if I need my sheet music. I wrote, this is a one of my earlier arrangements that I wrote a string part for, but I think I've done it enough that I I think I just have it memorized or, you know, I might just make a little mistake or I don't know. We'll see. Um, Subterranean Homesick Alien for FM. I do think that this one is, I think it's pretty relaxing. I think it might be a good nighttime kind of a song. I'll try and make it real pretty for you.
she lay late at night when I'm driving. Take me on board their beautiful ship. Show me the world this I'd love to see. Tell all my friends, but they never believe me. Think that I finally lost it completely. I show them the stars and the meaning of life. They shine me away, but I'll be all right. All, all right. They're all They'd swoop down in a country lane Late at night when I'm driving Take me on board their beautiful ship Show me the world as I'd love to see But they'd never believe me They'd think that I'd finally lost it completely I'd show them the stars And the meaning of life They'd shut me away Now that I have um, learned how to get better at other instruments, I'm like, man, I should try and add like keys to that or bass or I think something in a lower register to give it a bit of support. But I do, I do really like the string parts on that. Um, thank you guys so much for the kind words and the support. Zen, Zen Wen, thank you very much for the follow. And the nice, thank you very much. Thank you guys. Let's see. We did 
a more string based loop so maybe I should do a different loop now that has like some more instruments in it hmm. maybe let's do life on Mars I know I said more instruments in this one I just had like a big old string section on it but I haven't done it for a bit so I'd like to revisit it When it came to making a string part for this song, I ended up stink, <laughs> stinking. I ended up stinking it up. Um, I ended up sticking somewhat close to um, the original string arrangement. Yes, I just really like it. I think the original string part for this song was so beautiful and well done that I didn't really want to mess with it. I'm picking a much more kind of calm vibe for songs today. I don't, I hope you guys don't mind. Which instrument do I find the most challenging to play? I feel like probably violin in regards of like achieving my goals for how advanced I want to become at it. I've really struggled with learning the piano though. I'm starting to get much more competent with it, but um, yeah. Probably violin and piano. Why don't we have a piano break and I'll try and get the piece I've been practicing. Bagpipes are cool, but they are so loud. They are so loud. So I don't know about that. Um, AC, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. The piano piece that I've been actively practicing, I've been practicing piano with a bunch of different stuff, but for reading music, I picked this beautiful piece from an anime called Your Name, a film. Uh, McFadens, officially for half a year now. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you very, very much. Really, Tripwire, that kind of surprises me. Yes, I know you love synth and stuff like that so much that I wouldn't think that uh, bagpipes would be such a such a resounding instrument for you. Uh, for MacFadden, please let me know if I can play you a priority request for the resub. Thank you very much. Bagpipes uh, dono goal, is that what you guys are asking for? Um, I got to visit Ireland, uh, man, how long ago is that? Too long ago. I want to go back. I think I went around 10 years ago or eight years ago. And I have some extended family there because my, my grandma was born in Ireland. And we got to meet our extended family when we got to visit. And it was super fun. And I remember being in a, a pub with like, I, I don't know the official name for it, like my second cousins or uncle and uncle, I don't know. We're in a pub and we're having some beers, having some drinks, having some fun. There's some music playing in the corner and suddenly bagpipes just come like exploding out of just right from behind me and I was so startled that I dropped my beer and it smashed. So that's what I think of when I think of bagpipes. I think about dropping my drink and everyone laughing at the silly American who got scared, which was me. Nothing sadder than a broken beer. Yeah, Hoagie, that emote combination was exactly what happened. It was exactly what happened. But it was cool. I got to hear like my extended family speaking Gaelic and it was cool. They were really nice too. Okay. Let me show you guys the piano piece that I've been working on.
I'm getting closer and closer. That's it's a simple song. I know it's not like the flashiest thing in the world, but man, I just I really love it. I think it's so so pretty and a very sweet song. I actually heard it um for the first time in a Instagram story in the background for one of Charla's um one of Charla's things. She's a Charmeleon, a YouTuber who I follow and I really enjoy her vlog. She lives in Japan and um, just vlogs her life there. But that song was in the back of one of her very like beautiful visual Instagram video stories. And I was like, oh my God, what is that song? That's so pretty. And sure enough, I saw it was from your name. And you guys have asked me, well, some of you have asked me to learn something from that movie before. So I was like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity. All right, let's do Life on Mars. Uh, for fine, I'm glad you thought it was relaxing too. Practicing it has been a really like kind of meditative experience for me to just sit and try and make sure, oh, I get it nice and clean. Come back here. My microphone's a little too heavy for this arm the mic arm but I really like this mic arm so I don't want to change that oh no I pressed the wrong pedal somewhere a b c d e f there we go oh wait that's not right that's not right one second so I have a bunch of foot pedals here and I sign each one of them to a different track so when I record my strings, I can trigger all of them and record strings back to back. So I have to like map everything out. Yep, for FM, I'm gonna do Life on Mars by David Bowie next. A little bit of coffee. No more coffee, sad. Um, probably, I think I'll do that at some point eventually, Daniel, for YouTube. I, I really want to build up my YouTube channel and I have a bunch of ideas to do so with uh, vlogs and everything. Vlogs take so long to edit and I've been having to learn how, um, but I'll get there. It does help me a lot, though, when you guys tell me what you would like to watch, because that helps me figure out, I don't know, what, what to do. Uh, I have a separate camera that I've been using to shoot my YouTube videos. I use this one for streaming, but I have a second one to film the YouTube videos, both vlogging and uh, the chauffeur and uh, the Bo Burnham cover I did, I did with the other camera. And... I, I want, I love making things, so I want to make more and it helps me to, to know what to do based on your feedback. Uh, I always keep it in mind. Butronome's downstairs. I need Butronome. I gotta grab it.
Um, Aki, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you. I have a confession to make, you guys. I almost dropped Buttronome in the toilet on my break. It missed by like this much. I was like, oh my god. I almost just killed Buttronome. That would have been so sad. <laughs> that would have been a real bummer. Real bummer. Okay, uh, we're making sure it's synced up. Looks like we're good. Yep. Daniel, thank you for gifting a sub to Fernand Fret, another music streamer. Kathadora! How was your session today? I know that you said you had work, right? It's good to see you. Butronome has altered the tempo. What was the original tempo? Let me see if I can fix this. Is this it? There we go. That was a tense moment. Okay. Yay, happy to hear it. Congratulations on more work. Thank you. 
But her mommy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go But her friend is nowhere to be seen Now she walks through her sunken dreams To the seat with the clearest view And she's hooked to the silver screen But the film is a saddening bore For she's lived it ten times or more She could spit in the eyes of four Focus on sailors fighting in the dance hall. Oh man, look at those cavemen go. It's a freaky show. Take a look at the bad man beating up the wrong guy. Oh man, wonder if he'll never know. He's in the best selling show. That Mickey Mouse has grown up a cow. Now the workers are struck for fame. Cause Lennon's on sale again. See the mice in their million hordes. From Ibiza to the Norfolk Broads. North Britannia is out of bounds. To my mother, my dog, and clowns. But the film is a saddening bore. Cause I've wrote it ten times or more. It's about to be it's a game As I ask you to focus on sailors Fighting in the dance hall Oh man, look at those cavemen go It's a freakish show Take a look at the bad man Beating up the wrong guy Oh man, wonder if he'll ever know He's in the best-selling show is it like it on my Oh my gollies. Fonzie, thank you so much for a huge donation, for a $50 donation. Thank you so much, Fonzie. Thank you. And a resub. I think I saw it tier two. Thank you very much. And please, please let me know if there's anything I could play for you to say thank you. Um, as well as the resub from Jet. Thank you very much for nine months now. Twitch baby, what's up? Um, and a brand new sub from Dark Rex. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. And for all those subs, uh, you guys all, like I said, get priority requests. I'll put the song list in chat. For anyone who's new, welcome. Thank you. Um, what I do here is I play video game music and I also make loops and sing on them. And I have over nine hours of material at this point. I've been practicing piano, bass, banjo, accordion. Got lots of stuff. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. MS, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Let's see. After doing a couple loops now, I feel like maybe I'm going to go back to doing some video game tracks. Of course, uh, I'll do whatever priority requests come in chat for the people who had done that. But I think what I'd like to do, this song is just very much in the front of my mind. I would like to do Naru Embracing the Light from Ori. I write out all my video game music uh, myself, so I just listen to tracks and based on what I'm hearing, I write out either the main melody to play with it or sometimes other harmonies and things like that or arrangements that I loop. So yeah, thank you everybody. I feel very grateful.
hearing something that is making me quite nervous. I'm hearing like a buzzing and I'm worried that means the crack on my violin opened up again. And I've had the crack fixed twice. So now I'm really scared that it means it can't be fixed. I don't know if that's what it is, but I'm hearing, let's see. a little bit better that time for bull thank you for a reset for six months half a year now thank you so much i am bull thank you as well oh man y'all i'm so nervous um i have a crack on my violin in a place that's very 
bad. Um, I've had it sealed twice, but it's like a wolf tone I'm hearing, which is like a echoey. I'm gonna play without headphones for a second. that it could just mean something's loose here or that the crack opened oh god i'm like trying to keep calm please let's see Um, for Handicapper, thank you again for the uh, resub, please. Let me know if I can play you something. Sorry, you guys. I'm kind of having a, a bit of an instrument scare right now. Let me see. I hear it the most when I play an A on the D string. There's, I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's like a, like almost a buzzing that happens. I might have to go to the violin store tomorrow. Hmm. I've been worried because I think since I've been traveling on the road as much as I have and I've played a couple shows outside, it's not great for violins, especially since mine has a crack in it. So I've been very worried. I'm like kind of scared that my violin's just not okay. Um, it might not be able to be fixed because they've sealed the crack twice now. So I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm trying not to think about it too much right now. How does Home Ruler go? I like can't remember how this goes. Didn't I record this? Home Ruler. I'm Ryan Thompson. This tune's called Home Ruler Hornpipe. <laughs> to remembering this uh, 
I just need to hear the beginning of it. Kitty's wedding. I know it's like Kitty's wedding. Usually I'd play these back to back. I just haven't done it in like months and months. <laughs> most of it except that B section. Sorry, you guys. I feel like you can see the worry on my face as I'm just thinking about the violin now. Um, let's see. It's tricky to hear. Um, let me see if I can show you. Those are fine. hearing it. All right. I trust you, violin. One time I had a buzzing and it was just that this was loose. And then the second time I had a buzzing, it was because the crack opened. So I think that's why my head went there. Um, let's see. The violin music is making my dog dream and run in her sleep. Got some Celtic tunes, get the pup going. I'm actually quite proud of myself that I was able to remember that uh, just by hearing it for a second. That's my goal, honestly, with... Uh, with a large repertoire of Celtic music to just be able to hear it and then be able to like do it immediately. On that note, I'm going to play a song that makes me really happy, which is another Celtic one, The Neck Belly Reels. It is so, it's just a lovely piece of music. I love it.
I forgot one of the smaller bits of that song, and I was like, come on, it's on the tip of your tongue. But is that not just the most, like, joyful piece of Celtic music? I love it so much. I'm feeling a lot better now, you guys. Thank you. I got really nervous for a second as I thought something was wrong with my violin. Something still might be wrong, but I'm just gonna be on the side of hoping that nothing is so I can just keep playing and it's fine. I kind of want to do an acoustic run of that real fast to make sure I really have it memorized. Uh, I am PD. Thank you for the follow as well as Julio or Julio maybe. And Bull. I don't think I thanked you Bull for gifting a sub. Thank you. How are you? not speed up too much. Lots of string crossing in that one. I feel like doing that song makes me want to do some of my more fiddly pieces. Fiddly. Let's do A Settlement in the Red Bluffs, I think is what it's called. Yeah, from Octopath Traveler. This one's really fun. A Settlement in the Red Bluffs.
Ryder, thank you so much for 10 gifted subs. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And the ongoing support means the world to me. Thank you. I know that you are a fan of a good old fiddle tune. So why don't I go through some more fiddle stuff for you? This one's really fun. It's from uh, the Unravel soundtrack. And it's the whole soundtrack was written, written by uh, Swedish folk musicians. And this particular track is called Hauling After Perluf. I'm probably saying that so wrong, Swedish. Um, thank you guys so much. I got in a really scary head uh, space for a second thinking about uh, my violin being okay. So thank you for making me feel safe. It's weird when you start to worry about something and you know you're live and you're like, oh, does everyone see what I'm thinking? Um, but I am feeling a bit better now, so thank you. I felt very like deer in headlights. I'm really happy you like that one for One Way Rider. It's so fun. It's like, it was a good challenge for me with this one to go through it and really push myself when it came to bowings and double stops because you're supposed to kind of go back and forth. It's still not perfect, but I'm getting better. A horn user, thank you. Thank you. Uh... You're just supposed to go like... There's lots of like funky, cool little double stops in there that I'm trying to still get a bit cleaner, but we're getting there slowly, but surely that's what matters, right? Um, for Mad, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you guys so much. Uh, there's been so much love today. Uh, Rob, thank you. Positive violin vibes, thank you. I'm starting to think it might be okay. Um, 
I didn't even know that the crack had opened last time. So I think that's why I'm also kind of like, you know, just anxious. He is, I, did, I couldn't even tell. Um, but it's right here. That's why I keep kind of like touching it where I'm like, is it open? Rob, thank you very much for the don donation. Please let me know if there's something I can play for you. And then I'll probably close priority requests after that. Um, you're your normal cheerful self today. I love it. Thank you for hauling. Thank you. I get I got a little in my head for a moment, so I guess I feel a lot better knowing that it's not necessarily reading like that. I'm having a craving to do a song that's not really fiddly but i feel like it makes sense to do this next maybe maybe not but i i just want to do it i want to do termina field um from zelda majora's mask you're welcome no requests listening and enjoying thank you jukebox grim what's up how are you doing today There used to be a time where playing this piece was really scary for me because the second part goes into B major, which is not a super comfortable key for me, if I'm being honest. Um, so I used to be nervous to play the second half of that song, but I'm happy that that time through seemed really comfortable. I think I'm gonna just pick a couple more Zelda songs and call it. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna be live again tomorrow. Hell yeah. I'm gonna be live tomorrow at 11 a.m. I have a rehearsal in the evening, but I don't think that should affect the timing for the stream. 
And then I have a gig Saturday. And then Monday is going to be my three-year stream anniversary. It will be three years officially that I have been on um, been on Twitch, which is incredible. And I just am so grateful. And it's so surreal that it's built into what this has. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm probably just going to do you know pop a bottle of champagne and hang out and have fun I don't know get a little more dressed up than usual um but thank you guys so much I'm just gonna do a couple more today uh but again I'm I'm really grateful for the opportunity that you guys have given me so thank you so much and I'm excited to go into this next year I have a lot of new ideas I have new things that I want to get done new instruments I want to add um, in different styles and I'm determined so thank you that's off tuxedo do you have a tux Joe all right I'm gonna do clock town next from Majora's Mask but this particular version is actually done by one of my college friends uh, who's gone on to make amazing orchestrated arrangements and recordings under the name Rosin, R-O-Z-E-N. So please make sure you check them out. Do I need mine for Jocon? It's tux only to get in, yeah. It's a, it's a ball of sorts. I feel like, nah, if, well, maybe. That could be fun. And then like the next night's a grunge night where everyone just wears like ratty t-shirts and denim, Canadian tuxedos. I actually really love Canadian tuxedos. I know that's kind of a controversial subject, but I think they look cool.
for uh, not that. Thank you for the follow. This is the third day where it gets super scary. So I usually fade it out here because I don't want to terrify anybody. Yeah, the third day is when the, the moon gets ready to crash. So I'm going to fade out here. And if you want to hear the rest of the track, uh, again, make sure to check out my friend Rosin. Uh, he's done amazing full arrangements from a, def a bunch of different soundtracks and things. But on that note, y'all, I am going to call it. We've been going for three and a half hours now. And I feel really good about today. I'm very like business set on Thursdays. Yes, Thursdays is when I get my violin lesson. So I've been up early this morning practicing violin. I practiced violin for three hours before I did this. So that's like almost seven hours of violinning. And I might even violin more later. Who knows? We'll see how I'm feeling after dinner. But I will be passing us on to a raid for anyone who wants to join in the raid. I will be live again tomorrow at 11 a.m. if you're looking for some morning music. And again, you guys, I just appreciate you so, so, so much. I love doing this so much. And again, um, I'm going to be having my three-year stream anniversary on Monday for anyone who wants to hang out for that. Um, just taking a look at who's on. Oh, perfect. Let's raid Dusty. Um, I feel like I never get to catch him. A fish in a birdcage. Dusty is one of the musicians that I actually got to do a collab with uh, not that long ago. And we're talking about doing another one next year where I might go up to Canada. So that's exciting. Uh, dinner tonight is leftover pizza. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> um, thank you guys again so much. I feel so loved and so supported and excited and motivated and happy and all the things you guys have really made me a much happier person thank you and again i'll be live tomorrow for anyone who wants to hang out all right y'all i love y'all so much bye <laughs>